Evening guys. Yes, I decided I'd put the cameras on late evening now. Cameras? Camera? I've only, well, only used the one I should say. I was going to say I've only got the one, but that wouldn't be true, would it? Right, I'm just going to stick you on there for a moment. Because I have been going topless all day because it was a nice warm day. Ooh. But it's getting a bit chilly now, so I'm going to put some top on. Okie dokie. Right. Well, I've not done a lot today. I got up this morning, uh, went to a charity shop just for a look as I sold that bike for 20 quid. Um, found a fan. It's been in there for the past week or so. I noticed the price had reduced by one pound. They did have it out there for six pounds, which it would have been worth that, but I don't know why I didn't get it a week or so ago, but never mind. I've got it now, so I've got something better to use tonight. And uh, when I'd done the, that charity shop and the one next to it, I then went round to the sorting office to get my parcel, so there's the lamp. It does work. I have uh, tested it. I have, did have a little pokey screwdriver down here. You just need one of these or something with a, you know, it's about that diameter or anything that's going to go into the little holes in the end here. And all you do is, uh, how can I do this? Can I do it this way? Yes, it is a photo cell one, but for some reason, there's not enough light to turn it off. Should we try in the kitchen? Is there enough light in here? No. We'll do that. No. Well, I know it works anyway. Actually, while I'm in here, I've got that growing out of my cactus. I've got no idea what it is, but it's growing out of my cactus. That's mum's aloe vera plant. I don't know if she actually wants that back or not. And that's mine, which I'm going to have to repot again, because that is actually getting rather monstrous. And I've got other shoots in here as well. Well, perhaps I should repot one and take it to a car boot sale. Right. And they're still working. Go turn this one off now. I don't need this on. Hopefully in the morning my bloody finger will be nicely healed. I'll show you why in a minute. I've had what is known as a Whitlow, which is basically an infection that you get on the side of your finger. You can see mine's looking a little bit red. Well, I have just managed, it's taken me all day, but I have uh, just managed to pop a hole in it and squeeze a hell of a lot of pus out of that. Just pure pus. I tried using the, um, my, I can't remember the name of it, I'll just call it a finger pricker. Finger pricker device for my glucose test kit on this part of the finger. But all I was getting was blood, so I thought, right, I'm not hitting it in the right place. And I had to get right in. Well, you can see by the skin where I've been poking it with a sewing needle. Never would have got in there with a uh, with that finger pricker tester thingy. So, uh, yeah, that fucking hurt. That's what that tissue's for on there. Um... I haven't been able to squeeze any more out. It's weeping at the minute. But hopefully... <laughs> hopefully it will heal and not fill back up. Otherwise I'm going to have to do that again. And trust me, it fucking hurts. Not a nice thing to have. I don't know why I keep getting them. All I do is cut my nails. I don't... 
I used to chew the skin, and I still do actually, but I hadn't done it on that one. Sometimes I'll just cut my nails, and I'm, I think what happens is when I cut my nails, I nick like the skin right on the end of my finger there, and uh, I think that's what causes it. And I keep getting in bloody infection. Although the one I thought. Um, was a Whitlow on this hand, it actually healed up by itself, so it pr obviously wasn't one. It was just a sore. <sighs> but, uh, yeah. And there's my weapon of choice. I'm getting nagged to fill up my first aid kit. <laughs> I don't have anything in it. I've got plasters, that's about it. Or band-aids. Um, for Americans. You know, band-aids. So I just... Don't use anything else in there. said someone replied to me but they obviously deleted their post oh well shame I can't read what they want to say uh. mm. oh sold the fly my leaf blower for uh, for ten pounds today big old ten pounds not a lot but for all I know, it probably works, but I haven't got the petrol to put in it. I can't be asked to go and test it, because I'd have to drag it all the way over to Mum's to test it, and then drag it all over. Just give it to someone else. It's got plenty of compression. I was making all the right noises when I pulled it, so... I can't see why it wouldn't with a bit of fuel in there. There's no primer bulb on it. Well, I couldn't find one anyway. There's just the um, on-off switch and the um, throttle control. Or choke, no choke control, I should say. Couldn't find any primer bulb or anything on that, so... There isn't that to rot, because um, I do find on a lot of... Um, we call them strimmers, weed whackers. Or whatever you know them as. Um, they have primer bulbs and I've seen them rot out and the same with lawnmowers, they'll rot out. You can just replace the bulb if the rest of the carb is okay. Which is what I've done before. But uh, without the primer bulb it means you can't prime the carb. Because all that does is suck fuel into the carb. Bit like a manual pump, I suppose. I haven't even seen anything on Facebook. It's not even anything on Facebook now. I can't believe it's that late at night either, it's nearly caught to midnight.
That's what I'm doing at the moment, just scrolling down my live feed, but... Nope. Fickle. Couple of memes, some comic strips, news articles. Jonathan Ross. No one hears. Trump. Weinstein. three-year-old boy's mother. Well, I thought he was four that fell into the enclosure. And you just can't even get that right. Doesn't surprise me. Same article again. Give up the thing. I'm in the mood for building, so I may do a bit more to my police station before I bugger off to bed. Well, at least while this video is uploading, I really can't think of anything. So, I'm trying to decide what I want for breakfast tomorrow. It's payday. No, it isn't. It's payday the following day, but I has cash, so not a lot of cash, but I do have cash. Nothing to get excited about. Can't really get excited about fifteen pounds. Woo, go me. <sighs> Probably going to end up buying another one of those rectangular road lamps as well. Because um, the same seller has just put three more up. Non-repainted ones. That one's been repainted. Which I knew about. He did mention that in the description. So I've already, already left him positive feedback. Um, but he's put up three more. One is another photo cell flash and a flashing lamp with a photo cell and the other two are steady burn with a photo cell so I don't want two I only want the one but he's only asking eight pounds each for them so but uh, I don't have the cash well I could if I went and put ten pounds into my bank but I might as well just wait until midnight tomorrow night, 24 hours from now basically, a bit longer, and just buy one there. If it sells, it sells, there's nothing I can do about it, but the way eBay does things now, when you hit the buy it now, you have to pay now. Didn't have to, unless the seller set it like that, but nowadays... I suppose that was done to stop people hitting buy it now and then not paying. Which uh, I actually did have happen to me a couple of times. So it's annoying, but I understand why eBay did that. However, eBay, in my opinion, really isn't seller friendly.
really isn't. It just seems eBay is just far too buyer orientated. You know, the buyer is always right even when they're not, which is why I got my account restricted. Because that's all it takes. Just a couple of people to be an asshole and leave you negative feedback or to complain about something. That doesn't have to be legit. They could just, um, you know, bought something and still want their money back, you know, make up something's wrong with it. It's just so easy for people on eBay to be a complete bastard towards a seller. And eBay allows it. You know, if an item gets lost in the post, we as the seller still have to refund. And I don't like that just for the simple reason it's not our fault if it gets lost in the post. Well, that's a postal service issue. But that's just how I see it. Yeah, I think I've had once or twice where they've said nothing, you know, the item hasn't arrived. And I just refund because it saves a lot of arguments and it makes you look good as well. And I usually get positive feedback left, even though they didn't get the item, or neutral. But I think eBay needs to um, have a look at their policies and uh, try and help the sellers. Because, after all, it's us sellers that make eBay the money. So you would have thought they would have actually tried their best to help the seller. Because if it wasn't for people like me and many people out there as well selling our crap on eBay... eBay wouldn't exist and they wouldn't be making the bloody millions that they do. I dread to think how much they make in a day, just in fees and whatnot. I mean, the only type of seller on eBay that don't seem to be affected are the ones that run an eBay shop. It seems to be, you know, the, the little guys like me. Um, because apparently someone I know got permanently banned from eBay because of one person talking bullshit. And it's the same person I deal with, with Lego and whatnot. So I know he's a decent guy, he's a decent seller. But some people can be really, really nitpicky and just mean and bitchy and, well, whatever other negative word you can think of. And it is annoying. I actually, I like... I'll just start again. <laughs> I prefer eBay as a buyer. Using eBay as a buyer, I mean. More than I do as a seller, because it's such an arsehake to sell. Buyer, but, you know, being a buyer is piss easy. You find the item you like, you check out the seller's feedback, if you're happy, you click buy. Or you bid, which doesn't seem to be a thing anymore because 99% of what I've got in my watch list is buy it now, not auction. So eBay is just, it's not much of an auction site anymore, it's a shopping site where people can sell their old shit. Seriously, there's so much of it. You do a search and you look at how much of the results is buy it now. 
and you could probably do, you can change the um, filters so you can have just buy it now come up and it'll tell you how many buy it now ads there are I then compare it to um, auction only and see what you get I guarantee the buy it now would be uh, a lot greater Really? I hear voices outside. Camera won't pick them up, but I can hear them. Oh, he hasn't left me feedback. A hole. My road lamp vids on YouTube must be popular because uh, most of the people I bought from on eBay actually know my videos. <laughs> Because at the time I did have the same username, but because I took this channel in a slightly, well I didn't take it in a different direction, I just renamed it to sort of suit me better, and what I am and what I record and you know, what I do, generally fuck all. <laughs> what do I do apart from talk to the camera about random bollocks? It's so no wonder I've only got 99 subscribers. Yeah. <sighs> it's the problem I've got. I'm stuck in this flat. Getting hold of anything to take apart is not an easy task either. I've run out of computers to fix. And then again, you know, there's shitloads of computer vids. On, e on eBay. On YouTube, anyway. Oh dear. You know, I've got four chairs in this flat. Three of them are computer chairs. One of them is like a a workbench chair, I think that actually is, because it's so high. And um, the cat picks the one I use second the most. Obviously I use this one the most. The one in the bedroom, which has got the exact same material on it, he ignores and I barely use that one. The one I use for the PS3, I barely use that one and he doesn't even bat an eyelid to that one. That one, just because I use it, he has to use it as well. Don't you shit brick. Hi. <laughs> Four chairs and he picks the one or one of the ones I use the most. And like I said, I've got that one in the bedroom that I put in there for the um, games consoles. Exact same material as that. It's just a lot lower. <laughs> it doesn't have the um, extra height on it. Yeah. Pardon me. You know I've laid off a lot of lactose. And you may have noticed in my videos, I'm not as flatulent. So there we go, I found the problem. I'm not visiting the loo as much either. Um, what was it I'd had the other day when I did? Microwave burgers um, with Gouda cheese on it, or Gouda. Gouda? I think it's pronounced Gouda. Cheese on it. Woke up twice that night to go at the toilet. <laughs> Yeah, not a good idea. But yeah, I don't with the um, plastic cheese, as we call it. You know, the um, cheese slices you can buy that you get in a lot of burgers and whatnot. My brother calls it plastic cheese. <laughs> don't seem to react as bad with that stuff. So I think it does depend on the cheese as well. But I love cheese. I actually love drinking milk, but not as much as I liked eating cheese, so 
the milk doesn't bother me as much. I can still get lacto-free milk um, if I really wanted it. Uh, cheese does irk me a little bit because, like I said, I do like cheese. But that's too much of a risk. Um, obviously there's things like chocolates, butter, margarine. The only place I can get dairy-free margarine is Sainsbury's. Littles don't do it. I've checked. Apparently butter is better if I can't get dairy-free. Um, so yeah. I guess things like pastries, like sausage rolls, pies and things, would have lactose in to a... Probably not as much, but it'll still be there. Milk is in the pastry, butter's in the pastry. No, milk is not in the pastry, you dumbass. I was thinking of something else. Butter is in the pastry. <laughs> Fucking milk. Yeah. I was actually thinking of like a um, pancake mix for some reason. Mind you, I've just realised I eat Yorkshire puddings and that's made with... That batter is pretty much the same as pancake batter, batter actually. It's just made a little bit different. But uh, milk is used to make that, but mum uses her skimmed milk, full skimmed milk. So maybe that's the better choice for me. And then again, it's cooked as well, so I don't know if that affects it. I don't know. But uh, it does seem that I can handle lactose, but just in small doses. I hate my body, it's falling to pieces. Lactose intolerant, diabetic, psoriasis. Asperger's syndrome <laughs> to add to that list as well. What the hell am I going to be like when I hit my 70s? Jesus, if I make it that far. I may not even make it that far. I don't know. don't know what the future's going to hold, do we? I think I'd like to at least my 70s, make it to my 70s. I don't think I'd ever want to make it to like my 90s or something, but 70s, early to mid 80s, That'll do me. <sighs> just struck midnight. I've just realised I've still got two pounds in my bank. Oh well, that can stay there. <laughs> oh shit me. Stretch my knees and scratch them at the same time. <laughs> right. Ow. That's sore. <laughs> Playing around with it like that has actually made it rather sore. It feels rather numb as well now. <laughs> had to be done. If I'd gone to a doctor, they'd have done the same thing. And I'd actually rather do it myself anyway. Because at least when it hurts too much, I know when to stop. <laughs> and then I can start again when I'm ready. <laughs> oh dear. Right, I'm going to turn the video off, I think, and get this up and loaded. Get this started and then I can um first one this video in half an hour, that's not bad. <laughs> See? Told you I'm less flatulent. I might Whew, that's a bit smelly though. Whew. Jesus man. That's probably the beans I had for dinner. <laughs> 
happened. Look at that, we all disgusted. Look. I suppose your shit don't stink. I'll actually know for a fact it does. <laughs> Say good night. Say night night. No, you're gonna grump. All right then. I think he's in a grump for some reason. I don't know why. I actually don't know why <laughs> he was all happy earlier. Do you right. I'm gonna say good night, and I'll talk to you all again tomorrow. No idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. We'll just have to wait and see. I've got no bikes to do unless I can find any at the recycle centre this weekend. I am fresh out. Again. I've got that old jalopy thing out back. But that's not worth putting any time into it. It's not even worth respraying it. So, uh... That will be sacrificed as a parts bike. I need my own scrapyard, really, don't I? Scrapyard of bikes. <laughs> anyway, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.